we have to respond to the great question of today, which is, why be Jewish? What we have come to understand is that Judaism offers, first of all, a roadmap for living a life of meaning. Every generation has got to ask the question, what's going to bring you in? The synagogue is the answer to that. The synagogue needs to change in order to meet the needs of its congregants. We came up with a bold and audacious plan for the capital campaign to reimagine the synagogue for the next generation. That's why we call it Lador Vador from generation to generation. We're sitting here on the fifth floor. This is brand new space. We've created new worship space up here for our children. We've created a new space for the religious school. We've also redesigned the third floor where we've created a rabbinic suite. And now we're working on the lobby. I'm very excited about the new lobby. I think it will be a lighter space. And I think when you have a lighter space, people feel, oh, there's a place for me here. The other really important part of our lobby renovation has to do with relocating the security so that as we are coming in, people can be checked. From the time I walked into the sanctuary here at Rodolf Sholem in 1981, I felt at home. I grew up Christian and I had converted to Judaism. When I come to services, I want a special place to visually be inspired and re-energized. This congregation is very welcoming and I'm so proud to be a member. We are creating funds to make the synagogue more affordable. We're trying to build an endowment so that future generations will have less of an obligation. We're also creating, as part of this capital campaign, an accessibility fund, which was very important that we never turn away anyone who wants to join this congregation because of financial need. I want to make sure that part of my legacy is that nobody is turned away because they cannot afford what we offer. That's a cardinal value. Just take a look at what goes on here on any day. Come during the week, because there are literally 900 to 1,000 kids who will run through our buildings on any regular school day. Oh, what a beautiful Allah! We've created a whole program. It's called Shalom Sprouts for families with young children, and we're going to continue to expand that. Come on a Saturday morning, you'll see five services going on, and you'll see the energy that is here. I've been coming to Rhoda since, um, since before I was bar mitzvahed. In fact, my mother was confirmed at Rhoda Shalom, so that's in 1963. Scott introduced me to Rhoda very early on, and Rhoda has been a huge part of our lives. Juliana is about to be five, and Rose is three. I want our girls to know that there's a culture and a heritage and a religion and a history that has so much they can learn from. Our daughters have been on the BIMA, they've been named here, and we continue to participate in different programs. Our hope is, is that the synagogue will be able to support them in the same way that it has been able to support us and hopefully many generations after that as well. To be a grandparent is a remarkable treat, and to be able to play a part in their Jewish education is an important element of being a grandparent. It's a great honor to bring them here. It's Lador Vador, right? I think this campaign goes to the core of Jewish values, bringing that forward to the next generation. And if it's part of who you are as a person, you know, I would consider giving to the campaign. We want 100% participation. We want everyone to feel as if they are participating in the building of the future of this congregation. The fact that we are the home to so many young people is so critical to the future of our religion, and we just have to do whatever we can to make that continue to work. If I had to... It's really a tremendous privilege to be able to create a synagogue home so that whether 
you are the sixth generation or the first generation who uh, come into our building to be so inspired by the community, by the spirituality, by the beauty of the surroundings and the love that people feel that there is no question that they will walk into this warm, loving congregation and feel, I am home.